Hello Makers, welcome back. In this video, we will walk through how to install the latest version of the Arduino IDE on a Windows computer. Then, we'll upload our very first Arduino code to a real hardware board. First, open Google and search for Download Arduino IDE. Click on the first result it will take you to the official Arduino website. From there, choose the latest version or any version of your choice. Currently, the latest version is Arduino 2.3.6. Since I'm using a Windows computer, I'll select Windows 10 and newer 64 bits for a fast and straightforward installation. You will see an option to contribute and download. Feel free to support if you wish. Otherwise, you can simply click just download to get it for free. While the download is in progress, take a moment to subscribe and like the video to support us. We really appreciate it. Once the download is complete, click on the downloaded file to start the installation. Accept the terms and policies to proceed. I recommend sticking with the default installation settings for simplicity, but feel free to change the settings or installation location if you prefer. Then, click the Install button and wait for the installation to finish. Once the installation is complete, the Arduino IDE will launch automatically on your Windows machine. If it doesn't, you can open it manually from your Start menu or desktop. When it opens, you'll see a new sketch. It contains just two basic functions, Void Setup and Void Loop. At the top of the Arduino IDE, you will see several important icons. The checkmark icon on the right is used to verify your code. It checks for any errors before uploading. Next to it, the right-facing arrow is the upload button. It sends your code to the connected physical Arduino board. Beside that, you will find the debug button, which helps you troubleshoot your code if needed. Finally, there's a drop-down menu where you can select the specific Arduino board you're working with. On the right-hand sidebar of the Arduino IDE, you will find several useful tools. First is the sketchbook where you can access your previously saved projects. Next is the board manager, which allows you to install support for additional Arduino boards that are not included by default. Below that is the Library Manager, which makes it easy to install libraries directly from within the IDE. These libraries help you work with sensors, modules, and more. Then, there is the Debug Tool, used to troubleshoot and analyze your code. And finally, you'll see the Search icon, which helps you quickly find for history or any text on the code. Now, we need to choose the type of board we're working with. In my case, I'll be using a Node MCU, which is an external board. Once you know how to set it up, working with other boards like the Arduino you know becomes very easy. The process is almost the same. The only thing you'll need to do is select the correct board type from the drop-down menu or from Tools Board Type menu. Let's now open one of the most common example codes, the Blink Sketch. This will help us see how to upload code from the Arduino IDE to the hardware. To open it, go to the File menu, then hover over Examples and select O1. Basics, then choose Blink. We can avoid all the comments section from the code for simplifying the code. This simple code makes an LED turn on and off repeatedly. It's perfect for testing if everything is working correctly. Now it's time to select the correct port. After connecting your Arduino board to your computer using a USB cable, go to the Arduino IDE and open the Tools menu. Then Port, you should see a new COM port appear. If no port shows up or it appears deactivated, don't worry. Open Device Manager, then expand the section called Ports COM and LPT. From there, you may need to update the COM port driver or, in some cases, install an external USB 2 serial driver depending on your board. Especially for boards like the Node MCU or CH340 based boards. 
Now that everything is set up, let's verify the code by clicking the check mark icon to make sure there are no errors. Once the verification is successful, click the upload button to send the code to the hardware, in our case, the Node MCU board. Wait a few moments while the code is uploading. While the code is uploading, take a moment to like the video and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to share them below. We'd love to hear from you. And there it is, the code has been uploaded successfully. You should now see the built-in LED on the Node MCU blinking on and off every one second. That's it for today's tutorial. You have successfully installed the Arduino IDE and uploaded your first code to the Node MCU board. If you found this video helpful, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more beginner-friendly tutorials, and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching and happy making.